All right, so I just made like a 28 minute long video um, talking about all four of the fights I wanted to discuss coming up this weekend. Um, the four fights I wanted to talk about was uh, Shields versus Marshall, Cambosis versus Haney 2, um, Wilder versus Lanius, and Plant versus Durrell. Now, four different fights, three different cards, so it's going to be tough to keep up with. Um, obviously, going to have to watch some replays. I'm not going to go back through this whole video. The reason I couldn't post the other video is I got to go. That's why I'm in the car. I got shit to do, um, and it's taking too long for the other one to go through. So I'm going to run through it in three minutes here really quick. Don't like Clarissa Shields. Would like to see uh, Marshall win. Uh, I'm going to go with Clarissa Shields by unanimous decision. Um, let's move on to Haney versus Cambosis 2. I think it's going to be very, very similar to the first fight. Um, I don't really think Cambosis can win. I think in order to beat these top guys, Cambosis has to be near perfect. And I just think that uh, Haney has too, too big of a ring IQ in his... Uh, just on another level than most of the guys that are around there at this at this current point in time. So I'm going to go uh, Haney by decision as well. Um, Plant versus Durrell to me is probably the most interesting fight on the card. This is the one that I got the most in-depth in on my other video. Um, I'll get a little bit more in-depth on this one than I did on the other two. Uh, I think this fight is very important for both fighters because I feel like Darrell's been dealt a lot of bad cards and might very well be better than his record shows. Um, if he could win this fight, it's a big statement, and I think it says that. You know, I think it kind of says just that. I, I'm a really, really good fighter who's overlooked because I've been dealt some some bad hands as far as, you know, maybe the timing of some of the people he fought or uh, having to go through chemotherapy and shit like that. Uh, Caleb Plant, you know, kind of a similar thing. It's like he went from fighting this level of competition to fighting the number one pound for pound fighter. Um, and he lost. So it's like, these are the only guys that he's beat. Darrell is, is above those guys, but not quite maybe on the same level as Canelo. So I, I think, um, should plant lose this fight, it doesn't look great because then it looks like uh plant is really only capable of beating these, these lower level guys. Um, and, you know, same thing for Darrell. I think if he loses, this is a bit derailing because you can only sit there and say, um, you know, I'm really great. I've just been dealt a bad hand. You can only say that so many, so many times before it becomes redundant and people start to think it's you, not your bad hand. You know what I'm saying? So, um, or your bad cards that you were dealt, whatever way you want to put it. Um, I had $25 in free bets on DraftKings. Darrell was plus 700. I threw my $25 on Darrell. I think he's a, a very tough dude that doesn't quit. He's a live dog in this fight, as his nickname uh, would suggest. And um, I think that Darrell is going to try to make it a tough night for Plant. Uh, how successful he'll, he'll be, we'll see. Um, you know, I can't lose any money. It was $25 of free money that they gave me, so I can't lose anything. So, I, I you know, at plus 700, I will always take a guy like Darrell. You know, a guy that has been through a lot um, and is not going to quit and is going to be in there and, you know, try, try making the fight ugly and is not going to quit on me. I'll always take a guy like that at plus 700 anytime, especially if it's with free money. Um, as far as this fight is concerned, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with plant by decision on this one. Um, I just think, um, I just think the timing of it coupled with other things, uh, that I got into before that I'm not really going to get into again, play a factor here. And, um, I think plant will walk away with a decision in this one. Wilder versus Hellenius. Um, not entirely sure that Hellenius has shown that he's, you know, has proven that he, he should be in this fight any more than David Benavides has proven that he should be in there with Canelo. Um, and I, you know, I think we're going to see on Saturday, uh, that Hellenius does not have enough technical boxing skill to not get hit by Wilder for 12 rounds. Um, Fury couldn't even do that. He won all three fights and still got dropped four times. So, uh, 
I'm going to take Wilder by KO in that fight. Something I do want to say really quick is I think it's a disgrace that that's a pay-per-view fight. And, um, you know, I don't want to be a dickhead here, but I wouldn't buy that one if I were you. Um, you know, that fight shouldn't even be for a belt. It shouldn't even be a 12-round fight. You know, they're either making up some bullshit belt or you're paying for a 10-round fight. Uh, either way, I think it's a bunch of bullshit. The pay-per-view should be for the cream of the crop. You know, the pound-for-pound pound guys, people moving up top guy in one weight moving up to fight a top guy in another weight things like that Crawford Spence two top 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 pound for pound guys things like that these are pay-per-view fights Wilder Hellenius is not a pay-per-view fight so I certainly won't be ordering that but uh yeah I got Wilder by KO on that one so just to recap real quickly I got Clarissa Shields by decision I got Devin Haney by decision I got Caleb Plant by decision and I got Deontay Wilder by KO I'll at your boy